All right, so next I think we're gonna go ahead and just put the hard drives in for the sake of getting them out of the way. Here they are, our four terabyte Western Digital Black Edition hard drives, which are freaking sweet and expensive. And they're gonna go down here, and what I like to do in this situation, since we're only using two, we're gonna take one of these brackets out of the mix for the sake of, you know, displacing the heat a little more. This way we can uh, separate the drives a little bit, allow for a little more airflow to come through in between them. Um, I don't like to stack them on top of each other if I can avoid it. So, let's go ahead and get those mounted. I'm just gonna take out our two drives, there's one. And here's two. Alright, now I'm not sure if you can see this too well. I'll move it over a little bit for you. Hopefully that will help. Here are our drives, and they're going to have to go in these holders here. And it looks like it's supposed to be toolless. And I don't really think we have much of a choice. Well, it is, it's partially toolless. You have some pegs here to sit with part of the drive, and then you go ahead and screw them in towards the rear. So that should make it fairly easy. I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. Go ahead and open up one of our drives here. Wow, those things are nice. Man, that's new. They must have recently started doing that, that little black section right there. Pretty sweet. Cool. And since I'm going to be hiding the wires, you're going to want to go ahead and match up where the uh, cable portion of the drive is going to be the part that is actually inserted. And that's pretty much the only way you're going to do it because that's how the holes line up. So this is actually really simple. You see, you have your pegs matching hole pattern. Just go ahead and, and smush those together until you feel the pegs go into screw holes. like so. I got half of it in. Once you get the two in, you just kind of bend the other part back. Move it around until those go in. So right now it's secured, but I'm a fan of doing things the right way, so we're going to actually go ahead and secure it with some screws that they provided with the case. And they are called the drive screws, which I have here. There's 32 of them, which is ridiculous. But I'm not complaining. So go ahead and take that little guy there. And go ahead and screw those in. They, they're not going to stop spinning when they're in. Seems like they kind of spin freely for the most part. All right, there we have it. One drives in. That just goes right in right there. We are locked, loaded. Let's do the other one. It's so again, same thing, four terabyte black edition. Take that out. This one will be a little quicker. All right, we're in our pegs. Two screws.
there you have it. Something in the way on that one a little bit. All right, our hard drives are in. Good. Go ahead and save the boxes. I recommend saving the boxes for everything for at least the first 30 days because you never know what's going to happen. Crap does happen. All right, so, so far, motherboard, hard drives are in. Where should we begin next? I'm going to say probably the power supply.